No matter what, I still want to be here with you. I will always, always want to be here with you. Everything Everywhere All at Once is a whirlwind of emotions, visual effects, and some good old-fashioned family trauma. I'll be honest with you, the first hour I was utterly confused because there was so much going on that I had to try to understand. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoyed the chaos and the phallic beatings, but there was a lot to unpack. What turned this visual acid trip from good to great, though, was when Evelyn begins to see her life in other universes. She sees who she could have been, a successful and famous actress, a life very different from her stale one of paying taxes and owning a laundry store. Evelyn is basically just existing, complacent with staying married to a man she barely even loves anymore, isn't close to her daughter, and maintaining a business that she never even wanted. But how can she turn it around? This movie is about perspective and understanding, the fact that it's never too late to change your life. Evelyn viewed her husband as incompetent and weak, never fighting for anything. The way Waymond fights, though, is to be goofy and kind. Just because he's silly doesn't mean he's weak. His way of persevering through life despite many challenges is to have fun. He smiles, laughs, and puts googly eyes on sh When Evelyn realizes this, it changes everything. This seemingly idiotic man that she married who annoyed her was actually trying so hard to help her see the joys of life. This revelation hit like a bus, though, and that mini montage of Waymond made me sob. Life is hard. But that doesn't mean we have to be. What? We can be silly and laugh at our mistakes because we're in for the ride no matter what. So why not make the most out of it? Joy and Evelyn's relationship is rocky to say the least. We can assume that's largely due to her daughter being gay and that making Evelyn moderately uncomfortable. Alongside that, common challenges the parents and kids face are still there. They have trouble communicating and Joy often feels like her mom restricts what she does. Evelyn emotionally suffocates Joy and by the end of the movie, she just wants her mom to let her go. By letting Joy go, but finally accepting, understanding, and communicating with her that despite things she dislikes, she wants to be with her daughter, and Joy comes back. Healthy space is what was needed all along, a better sense of understanding each other. Evelyn lets Joy do what she wants, but still shows that she cares. She's definitely brutally honest in doing so. No, telling your daughter that she's getting fat obviously isn't the best way to go about things. But Evelyn tells Joy that even though things aren't perfect, there's nowhere else she'd rather be. They together have to overcome generational trauma that's been passed down to them. Not being honest with each other, caring too much about things that just don't matter, and too easily giving up without a fight is what put them in this position in the first place. They had to be better than what came before and learn from their mistakes. It's never easy to talk about difficult things with your family, but if you never do, then things will just keep getting worse. If you love your family, have those honest, uncomfortable conversations with them but do it in a way that shows you actually give a sh What if Evelyn didn't go with Wayman and started her own career? What if Joy never told her mom she was gay or Wayman started a different business? Those are great hypotheticals and maybe things would have turned out differently, but who cares? You can't go back. It's gone. So what now? Are you just gonna let your life slip away into the everything bagel? Or are you gonna f***ing eat that everything bagel? Boom! Knowledge! I don't think that's how it works, but you get the point. You can't change the past and the choices you did or didn't make, but by seeing what her life could have been, it gave Evelyn a greater sense of who she can still become. You can be whatever the hell you want to be. Create the life that you want, be grateful for the people you have, and fight for the people you love. Just try. Whether you want to have hot dogs for fingers or a far too intimate relationship with a raccoon, make the most out of it, because it doesn't matter. Also, only 2% of you are subscribed. That is criminal. Please subscribe. <laughs> bye, bye, little Sebastian. <laughs> oh, I can feel the mucus like right in there. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that post-nasal drip, baby.